chase last week in Lakeside will stay in jail without bail. Donna Barnhill is now charged with a long list of felonies. ABC 10 News reporter Rachel Bianco is at the courthouse in El Cajon. And Rachel, her boyfriend says she wasn't trying to hurt anyone. Hi, Kimberly. Prosecutors say the woman tried to run over several deputies and is a danger to the community. But her boyfriend says she is not violent, but was suffering a mental breakdown. Barnhill? Donna Barnhill? Donna Barnhill appeared in court via video. She wore a mask and showed no obvious expression as the deputy district attorney told the judge Barnhill should be held on no bail. She did assault at least five distinct sheriff's deputies over a police chase and a standoff that lasted more than two hours. Um, she has shown herself to be an extreme danger to the community. 10 News captured the standoff as it was happening at an apartment complex off Gold Bar Way in Lakeside. It started when the CHP put out a be on the lookout for a red car going the wrong way with a blown out tire on State Route 67 around 1 a.m. last Thursday. Sheriff's deputies tried to pull her over. Instead of getting out, she began live streaming on Facebook. She was uh, rambling, being nonsensical, moving her car in kind of erratic manner. So they placed spike strips in front of her uh, car tires. She immediately drove over them. At one point, she can be seen doing donuts. Another wheel flies off. She's now driving on two rims and two tires. The deputy DA says she hit multiple cars and tried to run over several deputies. Eventually, Barnhill hit a curb. Deputies used a patrol car to block her and then smashed the window to get her out. They were able to handcuff her after using a taser. Barnhill's boyfriend says she was suffering from an episode of psychosis. The deputy DA says she was out on bail at the time after getting a DUI just a couple weeks ago. Reporting live in El Cajon, Rachel Bianco, ABC 10 News. Thank you.